Welcome back to the ID Machine. You're watching the Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Kaboom, Kaboom, and Super Kaboom, oh yeah. Kaboom, oh yeah, Kaboom, oh yeah. Here we go, here we go. Action Delta. It's a polluted Delta, polluted Delta. Got the fetch lines recurring nightmares. We got the time vault and everything there. We also have Verdant Catacombs. Oh yeah, it's a fetch land. I have offended you again. So I guess this is the end. Because everybody knows you're such a snowflake and you're just quite upset at every single thing we said. Everybody knows it's all just in your head. Hey, hey, wasted feeling the way speaking. You know why you've crossed the line when I said that you were mine. The wind skiing, no hard feelings. Since you will not be my girl, this is the end of my own. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the ID Machine. Sly guy, sly guy, sly guy. Oh, yes. Now, I uh, actually watched a really, really good movie a while ago known as Love and Monsters. And another really, really good movie known as Slumberland, starring Jason Momoa. Now, Slumberland, okay, um, is a story about um, this girl and um, how uh, she, her father, lives secluded in a lighthouse. And then uh, when the dad finally passes away, she lives with her uncle and she goes into this dreamland. Really, really beautiful story. Love and Monsters, believe it or not... Um, the character there is named Joel. He has a backpack like Joel, and it looks like The Last of Us. It's incredible. That movie actually looked more like The Last of Us than The Last of Us on HBO. <laughs> the characters looked like the characters from The Last of Us. And Minnow, the little girl, she was kind of like Ellie. It was funny, man. So, why is it that independent IPs are producing better movies than media giants now? Because the movies in Disney are garbage. Especially the new ones, like uh, the Wakanda, Wakanda whatever, and um, Thor, Love and Blunder, Doctor Strange, the multi, multi, multiverses of, I don't know. I mean... Most of the content now, most of the new uh, movies, most of the established movies are bad. I mean, in, in HBO, their series are terrible. Look at what happened to Game of Thrones. The last season of uh, His Dark Materials was boring. The, uh, okay, the Last of Us, good God. I mean, Joel and Ellie don't even look like Joel and Ellie. And uh, from what I hear, well, I don't watch it, but from what I hear, the story isn't even close to the game. They changed everything. But when you look at Love and Monsters from Netflix, it's more like The Last of Us than The Last of Us is. So what's happening? <laughs> what gives? It's just that the directors, Neil Druckmann, well, I'm sorry to say, he's a bad director. He's a terrible director. He's a terrible story writer. I mean, maybe he had writers writing for him back then, but uh, since he wasn't treating his employees right, they quit their jobs. So that's what happens. He said, oh, I'm going to write stuff. Let me write them. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah. Your series is garbage. Plus, here's the thing. All of Us Are Dead, season two, comes out. Okay, today. So by the time you're watching this, All of Us Are Dead is coming out today. And that is going to go head to head with The Last of Us. So if people have to decide whether to get a Netflix subscription or an HBO Max or HBO Go subscription, guess what they're going to choose? They're going to choose to watch the real zombie movie with real zombies in a real zombie apocalypse. I mean, they're not going to... Go watch, um, we're not gonna go watch, um, Nutjob Neil Druckmann in his crappy series. They're gonna watch All of Us Are Dead. So, basically, 
Neil Druckmann shot himself in the foot. Disney shot itself in the foot multiple times. Warner is finally learning. That's why they're uh, not doing anything about um, the J.K. Rowling situation and Hogwarts Legacy. They're still keeping Hog uh, Harry Potter in there because they've learned that... Okay, when you go woke, you go broke. And that's what happened to them. Look at what happened last year. They only released two movies. It was that bad. They lost so much money with the woke movies that nobody was watching. But they said, screw it. Let's just go back to the way things were. And eventually, Disney's going to have to go back to the way things were if they want to still earn money. And if HBO's smart, they're just going to... Dump H, they're just gonna dump Neil Druckmann and the never make video game adaptations ever again. They're just gonna stick to uh, the series that they did before. Neil Druckmann stepped foot in HBO. Right? So, once again, this is the ID Machine. Slag guy, slag guy, slag guy. All of us are dead. Season 2 on Netflix. Watch it now. Oh, yeah.